What are the benefits of red light? This is gonna be the first of a video series about red light, red light therapy, how you could do it, and my favorite red light tools. So let's dive into it. And if you haven't yet, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Now, utilizing something like red light is one of the most strategic and easy to do tools that you can use for increased productivity, for healing things, just like bone growth and wounds and almost everything that has to be healed. And also making sure to improve and help with something like muscle density or increasing testosterone. But before we dive into what you can use red light for and uh, what it's actually beneficial for. First, I wanna walk through a quick bit about the mechanics of why red light works and what it really is for. So for just about as long as we've existed, humans have been using light therapy, but we've been doing it in many different ways. What you're familiar with and most people are familiar with is sunbathing. Sunbathing is something so common and it's something that we actually do on vacations and take time out of our yearly schedule to go and make sure to do. Now, sunbathing is good, but sunbathing is getting you every single spectrum of light. Besides, maybe we're not getting infrared, maybe we're not getting x-ray, but you're getting the majority of the visible light spectrum just through sunbathing. Red light, on the other hand, works a little bit differently. See, UVB rays are the rays that allow you to make vitamin D, and that's what you're getting when you're going outside and you're getting this beneficial sunlight. Now, red light, the 600 nanometer to 1,000 nanometer wavelength, actually interacts with the cell's mitochondria and the energy functioning mechanisms. Now, light therapy has actually been around since about the 1800s when light bulbs were actually created, but they would use like 10,000 incandescent bulbs to help to brighten and make it so you could heal and, you, and do various things with them. Now, red light therapy itself is something that's beneficial for healing. It's beneficial for so many things. And the reason that it works is because red light quite literally is working on the cellular level. So a lot of people don't often think about it, but with most things, whether it's hearing sounds, whether it's seeing, whatever it may be, we have different frequencies because everything that exists in light or in a sound wave is coming through a frequency. Sounds, for instance, using something like Brain FM or a system like that can de-stress you, can help you go into a nap, can make you more productive. And that's because those specific wavelengths of sounds and the way that they tune with the brain are helping you tune into that specific wavelength and mindset. Now, on the other hand, with red light, we can do something very similarly, where instead of just getting exposed to the blue light that we're constantly getting exposed to, the stressing light, the light that interferes with melatonin and doesn't allow you to go to sleep at night, we can instead replace that with red light therapy, something that is good for the cells, is de-stressing for the body, and allows the cells to return to its baseline function and actually create ATP. Now, optimally, you want sunlight, natural light and you want red light because most people don't live near the equator most people aren't getting the direct sunlight the amazing good sunlight light spectrum the full light spectrum that they should be getting but by supplementing with something like red light it can actually help to get rid of seasonal affective disorder and it could help with a few different instances like that now there's a lot of benefits with red light and I know that's why you click this video. So let's dive into a few of the benefits of red light, but below I'm gonna not only link my favorite red light, but I'm also gonna link a Excel doc that has like, I think a thousand different studies of what you can actually use red light for. Let's start with the first one, and this is one that was actually taking a lot of people by a storm. Red light can help boost testosterone and the way that it does it is you, of course, have to shine the red light on your testes five to 10 minutes, don't do something crazy like heat them up. But what this does is it can actually increase the cellular uh, creation of testosterone because testosterone is made in the testes. And some studies showed it being boosted by up to 300%. On the other hand, so many people nowadays suffer with lower metabolism, with hypothyroidism, and using the red light on your, on your thyroid can actually help with cytochrome C oxidase in a few different ways to pull iron to help the thyroid get back to its normal levels and to make sure that you actually have that high, quick metabolism, the, the warm hands, the warm feet, rosy fingertips, and are in a good state of health all day long. Now, red light can also be used for oral health. If you have sensitive teeth, tooth and bone damage, gum inflammation, too much tooth bacteria, 
anything that has to do with something in your mouth that isn't feeling right, that doesn't feel good, it's painful, it's sensitive, the bones aren't doing well, red light can help restore and repair that and to make sure that that's not happening anymore. Now, I'm gonna give a few more benefits, but I don't wanna make this video too long and I don't wanna take up all the time with the signs so that's why the studies are linked below. But red light can also help get rid of yeast infections, I know, crazy enough, and help improve both muscle recovery and muscle growth by directly shining it at the light. And I know I pointed at my bicep, you may think I have muscles, you may not think I have muscles, but whatever, you know, I don't care. Get at me, bro. Anyways, red light has so many different benefits. I do encourage you to check through that document to really look at what you could be using red light for because Maybe you have a problem or an injury or something right now that you're working through where red light could really help with that. And it does help with that. If this video helped you in any way and you know what you're gonna use it for, put below what you're gonna use it for, give it a like. Otherwise, make sure to press subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. And I look forward to seeing what happens with your red light journey soon. And make sure to watch video number two which is all about using the red light correctly so you can get the oral health benefits, so you can make sure to boost testosterone, and so you can really make sure to get the most out of your red light.